Hi, in this video we will talk about property binding. Property binding moves a value in one direction, so you can see it as one-way street. You can go the other way. Value goes from class property to target element property. Property binding in Angular helps you set values for properties of HTML elements or directives. With property binding, you can do things as toggle button functionality, set paths programmatically, and share values between components. To bind the source property of an image element to a component's property, place the target source in the square brackets followed by an equal sign, and then the property. The property here is item image URL. Declare the item image URL property in the class, in this case, app component. A common point of confusion is between the attribute call span and the property call span. Notice that these two names differ by only a single letter. If you wrote something like this, you'd get template parse error. Interpolation and property binding can set only properties, not attributes. Instead, you'd use property binding and write it like this. Another example is disabling a button when the component says that it's unchanged. To disable a button's functionality depending on a boolean value, bind a DOM disable property to a property in the class that's true or false. Because the value of the property is unchanged, it's true in the app component, Angular disables the button. Often interpolation and property binding can achieve the same result. The following binding pairs do the same thing. One note. Evaluation of a template expression should have no visible side effects. You shouldn't be assigning anything in the template expression or using increment or decrement operators. If you had an expression that changed the value of something else that you were binding to, the change of value would be a side effect. Let me know if you liked the video and what you would like to see in the next one. Until the next time, see ya.